Hello, welcome back to my channel. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much. Welcome back if you are not. Hopefully you'll find this video entertaining enough for you to become one. So today I was inspired to talk about the power and the energy that humans possess. So if you are into manifestation and energy, stick around because we're gonna geek out together. <laughs> if you're not, there's the dough. Okay, so let's get into it. I think we should start by getting all on the same page, right? We all know that we are energetic vibrational beings. That's how we communicate. Plants and animals communicate that way as well. I love giving the example from Dr. Bruce Lipton when he's explaining an energy exchange between a gazelle and a lion how the gazelle can feel that the lion's energy is of danger and that thing wants to eat me. It doesn't need to go all the way up to it and tap it on the shoulder and ask if we're friends. No. <laughs> Animals have that ability. Plants have that ability and we have that ability too. Just like when you enter a room full of people and you kind of get different vibes from different people, but if someone has a bad vibe, maybe they're sad, maybe they're mad, maybe they are in this jealousy spell and they're like <laughs> playing these mind games, you're gonna pick up on that energy exchange. So I think it's just really cool that we have that ability. It's almost sort of like a magic because it's unspoken. It's it's just a knowing that we have and that we feel inside. So I think that is so cool. <laughs> also the fact that humans are made out of atoms and molecules. So we give off light and energy and we also take in light and energy. Every cell in our body has a voltage charge of 1.4 volts. So yeah, think of them as little, little batteries, all of the cells in our body. And we have 50 trillion cells in our body. So 1.4 times 50 trillion, that's what, 700 trillion? 700 trillion volts of electricity in our bodies? Like that, these things are incredible machines. These things are intelligent. Don't take your body for granted these vessels can do amazing things now most people look at another person and they just see a physical body but what our bodies are doing already is exchanging information energetically with each other it's just like your friends like your friends have similar vibrations that you do and when you come into contact with them that's why it feels good that's why <laughs> you get all of these good feelings because you guys vibe. You vibe with your tribe. We are so powerful, but I feel like the powers that be, whatever you want to call them, they do a very good job at keeping us in a low vibration and believing that we aren't these magical beings and we don't have powers, which is unfortunate but stuff is starting to come forward. Like there was this report that the CIA released admitting that they had done their own testing and trials regarding manifestation and scientific trials. And they conclude that yes, we can manifest things with our thoughts. This is not just woo woo stuff anymore, it's facts. And I want people to start taking advantage of it and playing with it and having fun and seeing like what they can manifest within their day. I'll tell a quick story. One time when I was in Seattle visiting my cousin, I was at his apartment and I had just really been thinking about fresh homemade Rice Krispie treats like how gooey they are and how hot they are when they're <laughs> pouring out of the pan and onto the flat baking sheet and just literally all of the details and salivating, right? 
So I was thinking about it, then I kind of let the thought go, like the day went on, we were doing shit. And then his neighbor came to his door and offered us homemade Rice Krispie treats. Now these were weed Rice Krispie treats, so <laughs> if that's a bonus to you, great. I mean, I still ate them, but the fact that synchronicities happen like that shouldn't be ignored and they are because our thoughts have little frequencies and i like to think of it like this so we physical on this plane but everything that we think goes up to this energetic source of information field they're just kind of buzzing up there so everything that you think goes up to that <laughs> energy river and you are going to receive that thought in one way or another depending on time and your belief of how quickly you can receive what you're thinking of I'll also give kind of a crazy story that happened to me when I manifested two paychecks that arrived to me in the mail I think at that time I was trying to put out that I receive money in the mail, I receive unexpected checks, I'm so happy when I get, you know, all of all of the steps that you take <laughs> to manifesting. So it happened. I got my first check from BMW dealership and I hadn't had a BMW for years. Like I used to have one in high school and that same dealership is where I would have it serviced but I had a Chevy Cruze at the time. Again, it had been years since I had my BMW, but they send me a check for 300 and something dollars. Now, when the universe sends you <laughs> gifts, you don't ask no questions. You just take the gift and say thank you, <laughs> which is exactly what I did. <laughs> so that was amazing. And I obviously wanted to do it again, right? So I'm looking at the check thinking, I can't believe this happened at first, but then I'm just like all of the excitement I'm kind of harnessing and growing inside me while I'm looking at this check and I'm like, this is gonna happen again. I can't wait to receive my next one. Thank you. And then I do, I get another random ass check and this one was more obscure and it was actually sent to my dad. He sent me a picture of it. He's like, what's this? I'm like, I don't know open it up and it says consulting something or other from a bank that I have never consulted with and made out to my name Brittany Perriette and everything and it was three again 300 and something dollars I don't know where that number comes from but I'll take it so he's like where did this come from I'm like again dad you don't ask questions when the universe <laughs> provides you just accept and say thank you <laughs> and keep it moving. I haven't received a check in the, in the mail for a while. I should try and see if I can do it again. A really big part of manifestation is believing that you can receive it. So a lot of people would say, oh, you know, I want a million dollars then. But if you are currently living your day-to-day -day life pinching pennies and you're scared to spend money that's the vibe that you're putting out so you're not going to align with that abundance of receiving a million dollars if you practice kind of honestly like faking it until you make it because your brain doesn't know the difference between reality and something that didn't happen you can be making a memory up in your mind of something that you want to happen and your brain will consider it as real which is really interesting so you can play with your current reality and the things that you want right now so money is a little difficult i will say like especially if you're trying to get large sums and again you're living your day-to-day -day like i have zero dollars i have i'm broke i'm broke if you have that mindset of you are broke you gonna stay broke. That's just how it works. If you have a mindset of all men are trash, you are going to keep meeting men that reinforce and show 
yourself that you're all right. The universe just wants to give you what you ask for. So if you think negative things, that's what you're going to see around you. I want to reiterate that we are so powerful and through life and the powers that be, we are taught that we are not and that's how we stay under their control. That's how they take our power away from us. And I'm saying, let's not do that anymore. Let's really get into the juice of playing and manifesting and playing with energy and feeling it and getting better at it. You can start with small things every single day like my Rice Krispie Treat. <laughs> and then once you get like a confidence and you're feeling like, oh yeah, okay, I do know how to do this, then you can start leveling up and going for bigger things. There's no harm in thinking positive thoughts for yourself and for your life. You're gonna get into that gratitude mindset. And when you get into that gratitude mindset, you will receive more. And it's just this beautiful, loving exchange that can happen if you tap into it. It's, it's there, it's available for anybody to do it. Yeah, you just have to be open and have the beliefs that they are possible. Yeah, I hope this video was fun. I feel like a lot of people already know this stuff, but that's within my circle, so I can't think that way that everybody knows this just try it throughout your day start thinking that you attract good things into your life and see what plays out for you if you do happen to manifest anything or you want to share in the comments i would love to see all of the manifestations that would be lovely to hear i hope everyone has a wonderful weekend and until next time